TypeSafe Activator is an easy way to get started building reactive applications with the TypeSafe platform. Let me show you how to use it. From the TypeSafe website, you'll download Activator. This will give you a zip file that has everything you need to get started in it. Once you extract that zip file, you can launch the Activator UI by double-clicking on the Activator shell script if you're on Linux or Mac, or the batch file if you're on Windows. Once you launch it, that will launch the UI and your browser for Activator. You can also use Activator from the command line if you'd prefer. Once we're in the Activator home screen, we can create a new application or open an existing application. When we create a new application, we can choose from one of the many templates that are available. I'll select the Reactive Stocks template and select to save that on my desktop. When I hit Create, that creates a copy of this template application, and now I'm ready to go. Every template comes with a tutorial. So you can browse through the tutorial. This will walk you through all the different code in the application and explain everything for you. You can also get to the tutorial on the left. That opens it up into a wider display, which makes it a little bit easier to read. In the Activator UI, we can browse through the code for this application. So we can go into the app directory, which is our main source directory, go into, let's say, the controllers package, and we can see this particular application has both a Java and a Scala source file because we want to show you how you can use both Java and Scala together. I'll open up the application.java. This opens into a very basic web-based text editor. This is useful if you're doing a workshop or don't want to spend the time to download an IDE as well. You can make very basic changes right here in your browser. Most users will opt to then open these projects up into an IDE. To do that, select this drop-down, and then we can select Open in IntelliJ or Open in Eclipse. That will generate the project files for those IDEs, making it easy to open them up in either IntelliJ or Eclipse. The Compile Output screen shows us what's happening with our compilation. It'll take a minute to compile the first time, because you may need to download some dependencies, and then it will take a second to compile. The test screen shows us the tests that have been run for our application. So we can see three tests. This application has three tests, and all of them passed. The run screen shows us the output from running the application. This application is a web application, so it doesn't have a whole lot of output going to standard out. The inspect screen is where we can see what's going on in the internals of our application. We can see the requests, the actors, and any issues that we have with our actors. Let's go back to the Run tab, and let's go now open this Reactive Stocks application up here in our browser. Once it's compiled and up and running, we'll see the actual application here. So there's the Reactive Stocks application. This application, it's using WebSockets and JavaScript on the client, as well as Play and Akka on the server, and it's streaming out some fake stock values in real time. We can click on a stock, and this will fetch the stock sediments for the, each of these based on the tweets about the stock. We can also add new symbols in. This is a good demonstration of a reactive application. So once we're running and working through our application, we can go back to inspect, and we can see what's been going on in our, the internals of our application. We'll see the incoming requests that have come in. You'll see I made a request to slash. We can click on that and get more information about that particular request, all the, the header information and other metadata. We can see all the different requests that have come in. This allows us to see exactly what's going on as we're running our application. Likewise, we can see what's going on with the actors that are in our system. You'll see that we have a couple actors here, one that's my WebSocket connection, and then one for each of the stock symbols. We can drill down and see what's going on with all the messages in our system. If we have any issues in our actor system, those will show up here in the actor issues. From Activator, we can also search. This allows us to find files quickly. So if I want to go find the application.java, I can just jump straight to that through the search panel. That's the basics of the UI of Activator. If you want to get back to that home screen to create new applications or open existing applications, we can click on the top left here and then click Manage Applications, and that'll take us back to the home screen. Give Activator a try and let us know what you think. Thanks.